This week I found out that ICE made an announcement saying that all international students should take an in-person class this fall. If not, they need to go back home. Um, as an international student, we know that we need to be a full-time student and we can only take one online class. But because of the pandemic, that changed in the middle of the semester, so half of my spring semester was online. And I'm just, I, we just don't think uh, schools are ready to reopen so soon because the, New York still have a lot of case, new cases of COVID, um, not in New York so much, but around the country. I've been living here for the fat, past seven years. Um, I first came for a year abroad and then I changed my visa to a student. International students are important for these colleges. They pay more than double in tuition. We pay more than citizens. Some schools like mine that is public, CUNY, some Americans don't pay anything. So we kind of pay for them, for their education too. So the U.S. and Brazil are the two countries that have most uh, COVID cases right now. And Trump already banned uh, people from Brazil to come here to the U.S. if you're not a green car card holder. So if I go back home now, I can I even come back here in the future? Let's say if schools reopen or something, I can I even do that because I don't have a green card. <laughs> to schools in Queens, in Brooklyn. So every well, I hope they stand up for their international students and try to offer us in-person class, which is not ideal because of the pandemic, but unfortunately that's what they need to do right now. And I heard some schools like NYU is already creating those classes for the international students. So that's what I hope Cooney and Brooklyn College does too.